Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 7th of December 2019 and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 6th of December. Gold fell $3 last week from $1,463 to $1,460, having hit a high of $1,484 and a low of $1,454. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £1,112. That's down £19, primarily due to the strength of sterling. And in euros, it closed at €1,319. That's down €9. Euros. Silver fell 45 cents, from $17.02 to $16.57, having hit a high of 1730 and a low of 1653. In sterling terms, it closed at 12 pounds and 63 pence. That's down 54 pence. And in euros, it closed at 14.98 euros. That's down 0 0.47 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose from 85.9 to 1 to 88.1 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 28,015, up 337 points on the day, but down 36 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 8,656, up 85 points on the day, but down 9 points on the week. And the S&P 500 closed at 3,145, up 28 points on the day, and up 5 points on the week. Brent crude closed at $64.39. Oil had a good week, up $3.90. And WTI crude closed at $59.90. That's up $4.73. The dollar index stands at 97.7. That's down 0.57 for the week. So with the dollar index having fallen and to see precious metal prices also fall, is not encouraging for those precious metal prices. Now, we ended last week's video podcast with the following comments. Quote, All things being equal, we see prices rising early next week and then being totally dependent on the economic reports as and when they are announced, with the greatest emphasis being next Friday. Well, first thing on Monday, precious metal prices dipped, actually against the odds, but sure enough, come the afternoon, up they went, peaking on Wednesday, holding quite firm throughout Thursday and Friday morning, and the jobs report came out and crash down they went. Okay, not quite a crash to be fair, but a drop. And we highlighted this in our video published yesterday evening entitled Gold and Silver Dives as US Jobs Skyrocket. And we've placed a link in the description box below. And in that video, we pointed out that new jobs for November came in at plus 266,000 against expectations of plus 180,000 and against October's figure of plus 156,000. Now, this immediately strengthened the dollar and drove gold and silver prices down, even though most pundits were saying only the day before that their trend is not only now up, but we can expect to see much higher prices almost immediately. Okay, everyone can be wrong, and we are occasionally guilty of that, but come on. It was quite obvious to anyone who studies these things, and really also to those channels who should know better, that the US jobs report, if it was out of kilter with expectations either to the upside or the downside, it was going to have a significant short-term effect on precious metal prices. The reason being, and it's quite simple and obvious, is that it then consolidates what the Fed is going to do with interest rates next week. Which we forecast now will be nothing. They will neither be raised or lowered. Now, consumer sentiment and the unemployment rate also came out ahead of expectations, though earlier in the week the ISM manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMIs were weaker than expected. Now, looking at the technicals for gold, the 10-day moving average rests at 1464. So gold is slightly below that. The 50-day moving average is close to 1482. 
and this is seen as resistance. Short-term momentum has turned negative, while medium-term momentum is broadly neutral. So this does suggest slightly lower prices early next week. The 1450 level is certainly showing signs of quite major support, and at this level there does seem to be some interest from investors. So there is the distinct possibility that save any untoward announcements or unexpected geopolitical activity, short term, gold could be range bound between this 1450 and 1480, 1490 level next week. Now that said, the FOMC announcement due on Wednesday and perhaps more importantly, the comments after it in the press conference could have a significant effect depending how hawkish the Fed's language appears to be. Now, silver is rapidly approaching an important level, which could prove a crisis point for the precious metal. Like gold last week, silver moved in unison until Wednesday, and then it actually fell back while gold maintained its height, hovered Thursday and Friday morning, and then fell again after the jobs announcement. Now, silver was down over 2.5% for the week, whereas gold was down just a quarter of a percent. Now, this important level, from a technical analysis point of view, is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, which is or stands at $16.41. And if silver falls below this level, then it could quite likely be in a world of hurt, pushing silver down to 16 and then into the mid-$15 range. However, it is likely to meander in our view around the $16 to $17 level for a little while, but another breakdown could indeed prove consequential. Now, there is important economic information out this week which will almost certainly impact prices, and we should see greater price movements. So let's take a look at these. On Monday, there is nothing scheduled. Tuesday, productivity revision for quarter three and unit labour cost revision for quarter three as well not likely to have major impact, to be fair, unless the productivity revision is significant. Now, Wednesday is the important day. Friday is important too, but Wednesday the most important. You have consumer price index for November, core CPI for November, but we have, of course, the FOMC interest rate announcement and press conference after it. And it is this that most investors will be watching quite avidly. And we have the federal budget for November as well. Thursday, producer price index for November. And on Friday, retail sales, retail sales excluding autos and import prices all for November. So Wednesday is crucial and Friday is important. And we suspect there may be some precious metal price weakness next week, especially if Jerome Powell's press conference is hawkish which we actually expect it to be. No doubt he will say it's data dependent, but will talk up the economy, saying that it is currently in good shape. However, he is unlikely to make the same mistake that he made in December last year, when they actually raised interest rates and caused a significant stock market fall. Now, geopolitically, we have the same actors playing the same drama, so we won't go into this in detail. China has made some additional tariff concessions, though, regarding soybeans, and the 15th of December additional tariff deadline looms. So apart from the Fed announcement on Wednesday, we shall also see the China-US trade dispute affect prices, certainly on a daily basis. Meanwhile, equity prices have risen sharply on Friday, and we would not be surprised to see potentially new highs in most of the US equity indices next week. As far as the United Kingdom and Sterling is concerned, we have of course the general election on the 12th of December. Now this will have an impact on the value of Sterling. We've already seen Sterling strengthen against the dollar and other currencies, especially as the likelihood of Boris Johnson's Conservative Party winning the election has been announced in the polls. Now, needless to say, the polls will vary between now and next Thursday, and the value of sterling will potentially oscillate. But there is no doubt that traders are expecting 
a conservative government win, and if it's significant, and no one knows as yet whether it will be, but if it is significant, then an early Brexit is very likely to happen thereafter. And one can then expect sterling potentially to rise even further against the US dollar, potentially then putting even further downward emphasis on the value of gold and silver in sterling terms. So whilst we would not ourselves be sellers of these precious metals, we would prefer to wait the outcome of the general election next week before we consider becoming buyers again. Thank you for listening. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell sign so that you're notified of videos as and when they're published. And we've also listed in the description box below other important videos that we think, if you haven't already listened to, could be of some use, particularly those relating to silver and gold prices and interrelationships. Hope you have a very enjoyable weekend and an extremely prosperous week ahead. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.